Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Dani and today it's time to talk about all my unread books. It is finally time and I'm going to regret this, but we're going to do this. I'm going to go through all of the books that I own that I have not read yet and that's it, that's the video. But like I said, I'm going to talk about all of them separating by genre and it's going to be in the order of the first name of the author. Because that's how I have it on my, on my spreadsheet, so that's going to be easier for me. So first name of the author. And what I need from you is that I want you to leave a comment here telling me which book or books you want me to read. Because I have a card on my M&M's TBR board that is viewer recommend. And those recommendations are going to come from this video. So please, please leave a comment with which of these books that I mentioned here you want me to read. And if you have any of the books here that you think I'm not going to like or you really hate it, let me know as well, just for fun. I might do a video about that in the future, but either way, please at least the one that you want me to read the most. If there are any books that you know that I own that are not on this list, it might be because I already unhold it or it's just books that I don't consider on my TBR as much as that I own and have not read them. There are a few of those, so if you don't recognize if you don't see some of the books that you might know that are on my TBR, just ignore it. <laughs> it already feels really hot and I'm going to be moving around a lot. So let's start this. I'm not going to talk about these books at all. I'm just going to mention them unless there's something specific to tell, but I'm just going to say the name of the book and the author and that's pretty much it. And I'm going to start with Nat Gelly because I don't have the, the books here to hold up for you. Uh, but then after that, I'm going to grab each book from my shelf. It's going to take forever. So on that galley I have Anna on the Edge by AJ Sass, The Ten Thousand Doors of January by Alex E. Harrell, How to Survive Your Murder by Danielle Valentin, Good Rich People by Eliza Jane Brazier. It was on my TBR a few months ago and I did not read it, The Appeal by Janice Hallett, Go Hunt Me by Callie Davos, Temper by Lane Fargo, The Last House Guest by Maga Miranda, and This My Hurt by Stephanie Robo. So now let's move to anything that is not fantasy sci-fi or mystery thriller horror because that's how I separate on my spreadsheet. So I'm going to talk about fantasy in one block, sci-fi in one block, mystery thriller horrors in one block, and now we're going to start with everything that is not that, so other genres. So I have Robin Hood by Alexandre Dumas in Portuguese. This is a Brazilian edition. I have an ebook, A Gentleman in Moscow by M.R. Tolls. This was gifted to me by my brother and he desperately wants me to read it and I have not read it yet. Anxious People by Frederick Bachmann. It doesn't have the dust jacket in it, but it, this is it. <laughs> there are a lot of books without dust jackets, so warning for that. I have six Jane Austen books here, Emma, Northanger Abbey, Pride and Prejudice, Mansfield Park, Sense of Sensibility and Persu Pers Persu per Persu Persuasion. How do you say that? So I have not read any of these. This one I started as a nonfiction. It's We Have No Idea by George Shem and Daniel Whiteson. And last in this category of other genres and other nonfiction, this is Atomic Women uh, by Roseanne Montilio. Now let's go to sci-fi. And I'm already regretting this because a lot, the list is so much longer and fantasy is going to be so much longer. So let's just start. First we have Empire of the Ants by Bernard Weber. I'm pretty sure this is sci-fi. That's how I have it on my spreadsheet. If you've read it and it's not sci-fi, let me know. Then we have the entirety of the Saga graphic novel collection that I recently hold. I have not read any of them yet. Wool by Hill, by Hill Howie. Three by the Problem series. So the first one is Three by the Problem, Death's End, and then The Dark Forest. I'm pretty sure that's the order by Sixteen Lou. Network Effect by Martha Walls. By Michael Crackton, I have Prey and Micro. The Dark Side of Nowhere by Neil Shusterman. The Red Rising Trilogy by Pierce Brown. I have tried to read Red Rising twice. I have not read it, but I didn't finish it. But I still want to read. I didn't want to try it again. And I have the whole series. Middle Game by Shannon Maguire. Another one that I'm pretty sure it is sci-fi. But if it's not, let me know. Until the Last of Me by Sylvain Novell. Stories of Your Life and Others by Tad Chang. I already started this one as well. Vengeful by V. Schwab. And lastly, Iron Riddle by uh, Ziran Jaza. Now we're going to go into thriller, horror, mystery. The list is even longer than sci-fi, but first I need to put my hair up because it's, uh, it's already very hot. By Agatha Christie, I have The ABC Murders, The Hound of Death, and Other Stories. 
and three books in Portuguese that I brought from Brazil, which are Elephants Can Remember, I think? A Body in the Library? Is that the name? I don't know, the name's in English. And The Hollow Mansion? I'm just loosely translating here. Miracle Creek by Angie Kim, which is also a sci-fi, but it's more thriller, I think. It's on the thriller category. Magpie Murders by Anthony Horowitz. This collection of the complete Sherlock Holmes stories by Arthur Conan Doyle in Portuguese. The Burning Girls by CJ Tudor, I'm dying to read this one. I See You by Claire McIntosh. The Project by Courtney Summers. The entire Robert Langdon, Langdon series by Dan Brown. Uh, Angels and Demons, Da Vinci Code, Origin, Lost Symbol, and Inferno. I've only read the first two, but I'm going to reread them. And G D Digital Fortress by Dan Brown as well. Catherine House by Elizabeth Thomas. I have two books by Gilly Macmillan, The Perfect Girl and I Know You Know. Reluctant Immortals by Gwendolyn Qu Kist. By Harlan Coben I have uh, The Innocent and Runaway. S by J.J. Abrams and Doug Durst. I bought this book in 2014, I think and it's still in the plastic. I have not opened it yet. Not because I don't want to read it, I really am dying to read this, but I think it's going to be too awesome, and I want to have the whole experience from the beginning of opening this when I actually do read it. The Dry by Jane Harper. The Children on the Hill by Jennifer McMahon. Lock and Key Volume 2. At this point, I will need to reread Volume 1 when I get to this one, but this is the one that I have not read yet. Battle Royale by Kushin Takami. If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio. The School for Whatnots by Margaret Peterson Haddix. I have it in the reversible deck jacket from Alcray Jr. Night Film by Marisha Passel. By Mark C. Danieluski, I have House of Leaves and The 50 Year Sword. I have tried to read this one twice and then after twice, but I still want to read it. And this one, I don't know anything about. The Night Swim by Megan Golding. This Violent Delights by Michael Nemerver. Bunny by Mona Wad. Then I have two books by a Brazilian uh, thriller mystery author more thriller and horror author, uh, Rafael Monchis. Uh, this is The Secret Dinner and Suicide. I'm loosely translating. This has not been translated to English yet. Final Girls by Riley Sager. This is also a Brazilian edition. Mr. Penumbra's 24-hour bookstore uh, by Robin Sloan. This is also a Brazilian edition. By Burfoir, I have One by One and The Lion Game. He started it by Samantha Downey and this is my least favorite cover of all the books I own. Where They Wait by Scott Carson. And I have the first three books in the Lady Sherlock series. The first one is A Study in Scarlet Women. Then, I don't know which one comes first, but we have A Conspiracy in Belgravia and The Hollow Fear. The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson. Then by Stephen Graham Jones, I have The Only Good Indians, My Heart is a Chainsaw, and Don't Fear the Ripper. Under the Dome by Stephen King. And lastly, A Lesson in Vengeance by Victoria Lee. The first one for the fantasy section is The Ivory Key by Akshaya Ramon. I have no idea where I put the book, but I own it. I have the Alcrate edition, but I don't know where it is. The Polar Bear Explorers Club by Alex Bell, I believe. Yes. Blood of Owls, which is one of the Witcher books in the Witcher series uh, by Andrei Sapkowski. Folklore by Angela Mian Hur. By Brendan Sanderson, I still have to read Elantris. I read up to page 90 of this so far. The Arcanum Unbounded, which is a collection of short stories. The whole second era of Mistborn, so The Alloy of Law, Shadows of Self, and Bands of, The Bands of Morning. And for Stormlight Archive, I'm reading Oathbringer, I also have The Rhythm of War, and Dawn Shard. Witchmark by Ciel Polk. All Our Hidden Gifts by Caroline O'Donoghue. Foul Lady Fortune by Chloe Gong. A Winter's Promise by Christelle Davos. The Demon King by Cinda Williams Charma. The Marvelers by Danielle Clayton. The Mirrorwood by Deva Fagan. Hotel Magnifique by Emily J. Taylor. Small Favors by Erin A. Craig. Troll Hunters by Guillermo del Toro and Danielle Kraus. This is also a Brazilian edition. Full Metal Alchemist Volume 17, which just arrived very recently. Night Books by A.J. White. A Forgery of Roses by Jessica S. Olsen. Welcome to Night Vale by Joseph Fink and Jeffrey Craner. The Goblin Emperor by Catherine Addison. Star Eater by Kristen Hall. Children of the Fox by Kevin Sands. A Combo of Wishes by Lisa Stringfellow. Sky Hunter by Mary Lou. Red Sister by Mike Lawrence. A Collection of Celtic Fairy Tales, this is a Brazilian edition. 
This is another Brazilian book. It's also a collection of short stories and it has images to color in it as well. By N.K. Jameson, I have books two and three in the Broken Earth trilogy. So The Obelisk Gate and The Stone Sky. Everlost by Neil Schusterman. Wings of Shadow by Nikki Valpreto. The Atlas Six by Olivia Blake. The Forgotten Beasts of Eld by Patricia A. McKillip. The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. The Poppy War by R.F. Kwong. The Justice of Kings by Richard Swan. The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. This is another one that I started and didn't finish, but I still want to try it. I still want to read it to the end. Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. The Gilded Wolves by Roshani Chakshi. By Scott Lynch, I have The Lies of Locke Lamora and Red Seas Under Red Skies, which are the two first ones in the Gentleman Bastard series. Spellslinger by Sebastian de Castell. Never Seen by Shannon Messenger. Winterwood by She Earnshaw. The Zodiac Le Legacy by Stanley Stewart, Stuart Moore and Andy Tong. Witchwood by Tahari Mafi. The City of Dusk by Tara Sim. A Wizard of Earthsea by Ursula K. Le Guin. And lastly, but certainly not least, we have the books 2 and 3 in the Darker Shade of Magic series by V. Schwab, which are A Gathering of Shadows and A Conjuring of Light. So that's it. That's my entire TBR. I am truly excited about all of these books. More, some more than others, but I do want to read all of them and just going through all of them right now was really exciting to just remind myself that I do want to read these books. So like I said, please let me know which of these books you want me to read, which book you recommend to me. That's all I want to know. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe and thank you so much for joining me. Bye!